What's going on, all you wild witchcraft enthusiasts? Your two favorite wild witches are back tonight, and we're here to recap and review the entire first season of Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches. For the first time in my life, I know exactly who I am. That's right. They're building an old Anne Rice universe on AMC. Uh, we reviewed the uh, first season of Interview with the Vampire. We talked about the first episode of Mayfair Witches. Uh, but, you know, they're building this whole universe around the late, great author Anne Rice. And she always put out some really fantastic gothic, uh, you know, novels. And now they're adapting this for television. They're doing a great job with the network and uh, you know, all the cast doing this. So you know, the first season that just finished up on AMC, AMC Plus, really great ensemble of actors and actresses in this alexander daddario playing the main character here rowan uh, the focal point with those piercing blue eyes and her seduction and uh the family of witches being the mayfair witches that we find out about throughout the first season and most importantly the return to tv of harry hamlin our favorite from mad men and all the old soap operas that we used to watch and our parents used to watch back in the, you know, early nineties. My grandma. Yeah. He is a uh, part of the shenanigans and we have Jack Houston, you know, coming over from boardwalk empire playing Lasher, um, you know, an interesting universe uh, that's created in the show. I didn't really know anything about this series of books or anything. I knew of course about interview with the vampire, but this, you know, looking at the witches and this family, uh, Alexandra Daddario, you know, she, you'd believe her being a witch, you know, with the, the crazy blue eyes and you could see her casting spells. But this story, it's all about this family of witches and Mayfair. And, uh, you know, the story of how back in the day, obviously, you know, the Salem witch trials and everything, everybody trying to gather the witches and burn them at the stake, get rid of all this witchcraft going around. And it's about this family uh, that kind of went through that generationally there's been all these witches and you know the tales of the 13 witches a lot of seances a lot of spells cast but this you know Mayfair witches it's all about Rowan discovering who she is and the powers that she holds then you have these other characters that come along um, Lasher obviously who she's very connected with has a lot to do with the story and her powers and harnessing her powers and then you have these other uh, characters that can, uh, what are they called? Empaths, where they can touch and kind of see the future and see what's going on. So it's really Rowan, uh, you know, this young neurosurgeon discovering all this crazy stuff that's happening in her family lineage and the secrets along the way. You know, she finds out who her actual mother is and all about her family. There's a lot of uh, intrigue and, uh, you know, deception going on with this within the family a lot of secrets uh, that are answered in this first season, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of mythology here, but it feels very in line with Anne Rice and her writing. It feels like, you know, the creators and the show writers really, uh, you know, took the source material, made it their own and, uh, you know, spread it across eight episodes on AMC plus. And this, you know, feels like uh, another hit um, for Anne Rice, you know, with the interview with the vampire series coming to AMC and they also had a lot of success with this Mayfair Witches. Yeah, one of my favorite episodes I was thinking about with uh, Rowan's character um, was with one of the actors from Hocus Pocus, which I thought it was kind of cool having to do with witches. Maybe they did that intentionally. At a scanner's moment, having to do with that without giving too much away. I always like that. Yeah. Like what her powers that she has. I think she's pretty mm -hmm. badass and she uses seduction to her advantage. Chip Rain's character, they have this relationship as well. The actor that played him is really fantastic and really... Uh, building up this world, you know, a lot of mythology. I don't want to spoil too much about the show or give too much away, but, uh, you know, all across the board having to do with the switches and fulfilling this prophecy and uh, finding out about Rowan, her family, and a lot of other characters along the way. But really, the ending of the show, the first season was really fantastic. Balls to the wall. I think it was probably the best episode of the season. Mm -hmm. um, a lot on the line and really setting up where they can go with this potentially in the future seasons and not really knowing too much. I haven't read the books. Uh, don't know much about the source material. The TV adaptation was really satisfying. I had a great time with this. And, you know, it's something I highly recommend. Molly, my wife, really loved the show. Her sister loved it a lot. They're really big into witches anyway. So they had a great time with it. So that must mean it's pretty damn good. So with that being said, I'm going to give the first season of Mayfair, which is streaming at AMC, AMC Plus. I'm going to give it a three and a half. 
out of five. Rowan Field and Hair Pieces. <laughs> yeah, it's just a fun show. It's a show that, you know, I wasn't super into. It's not my thing, witches usually, but they do a good job telling the story and everybody acting really commits. And I love the whole look and feel of the show. Do a really good job bringing you into this world of, you know, witches and spells and, you know, all this, you know, crazy mythology coming from Anne Rice. It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome how they put this together. Another successful Anne Rice uh, adaptation for AMC. They've had a lot of success and so far they're two out of two. And for the most part, I enjoyed it over these eight episodes. And I, too, enjoyed the last episodes. Great. It really shows you what's uh, to come and what, uh, you know, can happen in the second season with Rowan's character. Her power is realized now. I want to see her, like, be able to unleash it and really show what she can do with all her powers and, you know, see how uh, bloody things will get in the second season. So with that being said, I had a great time with Mayfair Witches. And I'm going to give Mayfair Witches a three and a half. Out of five, Jack Houston Lasher hair pieces. I want to hear from all you wild witches out there. What did you like about the first season of Mayfair Witches? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite Anne Rice novel? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to click subscribe. Subscribe. Also check out these wild boys on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and our website, cinefellas.com, for the latest, greatest TV, movie, news, and reviews. So we want to hear... What you guys thought about Mayfair Witches, do you like this universe that they're creating over on AMC? Please let us know. Uh, we will respond back to you guys in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching our review of Mayfair Witches. And we will be back to review the premiere of season two whenever it airs. Uh, we both had a great time with this. And until the next Cinefellas TV review, I'm Uncle Henry Hamlin. And I'm Uncle Logan Lestat signing out until the next TV review. Cheers! Cheers.